I want to begin today's reflection by talking about Psalms. If you open up a Bible and go to the Old Testament, you'll find the book of Psalms. And this title comes from the Greek term for song. But within this book are 150 unique prayers, hymns, and other pieces of poetry that reflect the human condition. Because as you go through them, you'll notice there are psalms of praise. There's psalms of lament. There's psalms that reflect sadness and joy, happiness, anger, frustration. 150 ways that people with all sorts of of emotions and experiences can pray to God. And I think the book of Psalms gives us a lot of hope because all of us are probably in a different place right now. All of us feel very different about all sorts of things. And you can open up the book of Psalms and you can find a prayer. You can find a Psalm within there that reflects where you're at, that reflects what you're feeling right now. To validate it. So that again, hopefully you can come to a deeper appreciation of how God will love you and provide for you and your family through the difficulties we face right now. And in today's responsorial psalm for March 26, it comes from Psalm 106. And the refrain is, remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. And this phrase from Psalm 106, I think, gets to where maybe many people are at. Lord, do you remember us? Lord, are you out there? God, do you know that we're kind of in a tough spot here? And it's a, re- it's a real feeling. It's a real reality. But as I said about the Psalms is, is that they are a reflection of where we're at as people, but all of these Psalms are meant to call us into deeper relationship with God so that we can come to know his love, his grace, his peace more fully. So again, it is okay for all of us to feel whatever we're feeling. In fact, again, you can go to the book of Psalms and find something that will help you to even validate what you're feeling. But as we open our hearts and minds to God in a very truthful and honest way, know that he's calling us to a deeper relationship with him. He's calling us to literally hand it over to him, to surrender all of this weight so that He can give us grace upon grace. And we can come to know of his love more deeply. But a couple things. One is is that sometimes I think in prayer, we almost in a sense believe that God doesn't know. Like I can hide things from God. So in our prayers, in our time of prayer, um, we just need to be honest. Again, a lot of the feelings you're feeling, you can look to the book of Psalms and see that people have felt them. So we just need to open up our hearts. And again, just let it pour out. If there's tears, great. If there's anger, fine. But again, open up your heart and you won't stay there. Open your sadness up to the Lord and you won't stay there. Open up whatever you're feeling to the Lord and he'll call you to a different spot. Because again, he wants to meet us in our deepest needs. He wants to provide for us. He wants us to know of his love. So hopefully the Psalms can be a tool, a means through which again, you can come to feel as if your experiences have been validated. And then again, deepen your relationship with the Lord. Because each day we're given a privileged opportunity to truly deepen our relationship with God. 
and we shouldn't waste any day, any hour, but just be honest with the Lord in our prayer and just hand it all over to him. Please know my thoughts and prayers for all of you. And as we say here, Our Lady of Victory, pray for us.